Hello, hello, hello. We has audio. Mm. Wants me to log into something. How is everyone? Of course, I can't see if you're chatting at me because it wants me to log in again. Which is odd. A little bit odd. I'll get over it. So... Almost there, logging in, six one two. Yep. Yay. Now I'm in the chat room. Cool, cool, cool. Welcome. Yeah, so uh, a couple of things. I have my kid's uh, computer down here. <laughs> it's a really sweet gaming machine that he built himself. I can barely hear the thing. And uh, and it's not even warm. It's, it's pretty incredible. So I think I need one of those for myself. Um, and then I got a different camera set up, which I'm very happy about which is why I brought his computer down here, so I can get the Sony camera going. This uh, Logitech camera, no no good. So today I'm gonna work on Little Proppy, um, which is the property panel stuff. Let me switch over to my desktop. Cool, so on the desktop here, um, we have these screens uh, for the app that will allow you to select items on the screen and then change the uh, properties down here. So that's why we call it Lil Proppy. Hey, James. Yeah, this camera's much better. Um, and I, I did, uh, so James and uh, a bunch of other people from ZamU and Clancy, we all got together, and James walked us through his Twitch setup. Um, and so I tried to make some updates here to get the chat on screen, did some CSS HTML last night. If you want to go back and watch last night's, um, you know, liberally scrub because I had audio issues and camera issues, but um, got that going. And then, uh, yeah, updated a few things down here. Update the title. Oh, yeah, so it says that. So that was something that was interesting. I switched and transferred all my stuff over to this other machine with all my profiles and stuff, and for whatever reason, OBS didn't give me a settings option. So I guess I need to go here. Getting there, getting better, right? Baby steps. I feel like a baby. Uh, so I guess I come here to this dashboard. There's my title. Working on Zappy. I think I'd be able to type without looking at my keyboard, huh? Um, cool, something like that. Update info. All right. Video is buffering. Use low latency. All right, cool. Thanks, James, for the reminder. Uh, yeah, so I am logged into the Twitch on OBS, so it, it ought to have given me that panel. For whatever reason, I can find the chat panel. I cannot find, uh, <laughs> cannot find the settings panel, which did pop up when I initially installed it. So, ah well. So, uh, I got a couple hours today. I wanted to work on uh, these screens. So I had originally built out um, something like this when we first did visual. So I need to go find that. Um, I need to go find this deal. Yeah, those floating windows in OBS. Um, because I built this, and I tweeted it, and I used uh, some stock photography, dudes with the beard. I remember, um, uh, I can't remember his name now off the top of my head, but he looks just like the guy in the uh, stock photography, so I wanted to go find that. Um, so that's why I had my work open here. It wasn't the visual testing might have been the visual challenge. Uh, let me sort this. 
I need to, I need to come up with a better uh, strategy for finding all these things that I build over and over again. If I don't push it to um, GitHub, then it could be lost. Was it the gallery? No, it wasn't the gallery. Ooh, it would probably help if I knew what the image was. Well, anyway, I don't want you to sit here and watch me do this forever. I almost, James, I almost got uh, some some music going, but I figured maybe change one or two things at a time, not change everything all at once. <laughs> I'm just happy that my camera and my mic works at the same time. Uh, that was a challenge. Last night, only one or the other worked, and I think it was because uh, I didn't have enough ports, maybe? I'm port poor. So how's everybody else doing? It uh, is the Monday after Easter. Everybody's bellies are full of chocolate. I think I had one piece of chocolate yesterday. I uh, I mostly ate fruit pizza. Has anybody ever enjoyed a piece of fruit pizza? I can show you. Oh, and last night I also uh, hit a milestone on Twitch. I got the affiliate status. That was pretty cool. Uh, let's see here, fruit pizza. There we go. These are these are much much prettier fruit pizzas than what we ate. It was more about the uh, the eating than the. So it's basically a sugar dough cookie on the bottom, and then some kind of a cream cheese concoction in the middle. This sounds nasty, Pierce. No, it's delicious. Gives you that massive sugar rush for sure. Had plenty of it, and then there's like a a glaze with like um, orange juice and some other things that goes on top of it. It's good stuff. Let's try it out. I've got a whole pan of it in the uh, kitchen that now that I'm talking about it, I guess I need to go for a run so I can eat a piece. Um, all right. So do I have Zappy up? The other nice thing this setup's going to allow me to do is finally start streaming from a Windows machine so I can start getting some Visual Studio 2019 in here. Because I do use it, but I like to be able to also show it. Hello, Zappy. And you know what? I have not gone up to look and see if we have any um, conversations, comments, things like that happening um, on the repository. So let's go take a look. Oh, come on. You can do it. Am I not logged in or something? Oh, well, it's not a Z, is it? Duh. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, yeah, I am not logged in. Probably for the best. Yeah, I know, right? I tell you what, it was the hardest thing when I first started uh, with my own business trying to explain to people Xamarin, and I would show them the, the website, and then they would say, how do you pronounce that? Alert dialog is hidden underneath my screen. Oh, on OBS. Nope, nothing under. Nothing under there. Yeah, I don't know where it went. I mean, I went to like the view menu too, and it tells me, oh, you're hearing alerts? Oh, look, now my uh, Twitch count. Oh, did I just pause it? I didn't pause it, did I? That's ridiculous. The um, Twitch count, viewer viewer count is cut off. I need to fix that. Huh? Well, that's all plenty of things for me to work on later. Although I guess the Twitch count is pretty easy to fix.
There we go. Made that a little bit wider. Xamarin with a little bit of X. Yeah. I'm sure that somewhere in the world it uh, it is it does make sense, <laughs> but that's part of our culture, right? It's kind of the, you gotta be a little bit on the in, inside, you gotta be in the in crowd to know what's up. Um, okay, so we don't really have much commenting going on here. We need to do something about that. Um, if anybody is watching and is interested in picking up one of these tasks, please let me know. Ooh, I should go back. Um, which I guess I need to sign in for this. Hold, please, um, because Stephen Thewissen is going to join us on Wednesday, and we're going to work through the map page, the map screen. He's going to take that one, which is awesome. Am I not signed in on any of these browsers? I have browsers. Come on. Um, all right. And uh, so I need to mark this that, uh, that he's taking it. If you are interested in any of the other screens, big or small, um, please volunteer. Oh, no, not that one, that one. Good, good, good. For crying out loud. You? Yes, you. If I tell you what, I'd be lost with that one password. Well, if you want to, James, but I know you got a lot of things going on. All right, uh, so now I'm logged in. I can come back over here. Wow. Come to me. Um, okay, so we have the maps page. Maps, maps, scenario, map, scenario, map. And we'll go ahead and assign this. Ooh, I probably can't, can I? Yep, I gotta assign it to myself. I guess I need to add uh, anybody that wants to participate as a contributor or something like that. I don't usually manage my own GitHub and have to add people. So I will take this and Wednesday, April, April 24th. Awesome. Uh, okay, cool. You know, I think there's quite a few things that are really, really easy. I mean, the About page and the Resources page, once we have design, those will be just, you know, knock those out in like an hour, no big deal. Um, yeah, the Scenario pages themselves um, will be the, probably the most involved outside of the uh, property panel thing that I'm doing now and the uh, the onboarding. So... Um, yeah, so James, I don't know, uh, there's also those videos that you did for the, um, yeah, we should definitely do, uh, oh, you, you want to do the blog? Yeah, the main page? Right on. So my thinking right now on that one is that all those pages launch out to, uh, to, you know, an embedded web browser. Um, we definitely want to feature kind of right up front how easy it is to do embedded web view. Uh, you know, I say embedded, just web view. Um, yeah. Now, one of the things about this is it's uh, the data is going to come certainly from our blog, but if we go look at the app design, there's a couple of interesting things we want to do here. Since we're talking, uh, we're just working through this. Here we go with um, Marianne on Friday, I think it was, or. Might have been earlier. So, um, you know, this it's it is titled Xamarin Blog, 
Um, and we could just start, you know, the first version with just the blog. But um, I'm wondering if we couldn't also uh, incorporate some other curated stuff, maybe Planet Xamarin, um, any Twitch uh, stuff that we want to throw in here as well. And then you'll see this blue bar here, which is our kind of inserted ad, if you will, to kick people over to the settings screen so they can choose their color themes, their uh, flyout versus tab bar and stuff like that. So uh, a little bit more of an advanced move there. I'm sure that you could totally rock that, but just wanted to call that to your attention. Um, yeah. Yeah, I agree, yeah. Back end that uh, combines the sources and then serves it up. Yeah, I mean, we definitely just have to have that little, yeah, as you know, that little check in there to make sure that uh, we don't put something in the feed that Microsoft would be in any way embarrassed about or disapprove of. We don't censor anybody, but you know, this is a Microsoft app, so we need to do our due diligence. Of course, uh, anything coming straight off our blog um, should be good to go, is good to go. All right, cool. Well, I would love for you to take that. So I'll put your name on, or I'll put, yeah, can I put, well, let's go look. Onboarding community blog feature proposal allows a proposal from latest news blogs. Yeah, well, let me do that. I'll have to add everybody, everybody that wants to be a piece, be a part. Cool, cool. All right. So... Let's go try real quick and see if I can't find this. Uh, can I search inside my files like this? Surely, right? I don't usually do this. Usually all my searching ends up happening. Gosh, all that XML is hurting my head. Is it uh, extension? What is, how do you do that? That'd be too easy. You can tell I don't search my computer like this very much. Mm. Sure. Name matches XAML and then visual equals material. Keep it here. Button border background. What? Surely there's more than this. Surely. Anybody know your um, finder foo? You know how to find things quickly? Interesting that it pulled XAML up on this. Whatever. So this is the one challenge between uh, carrying a Windows machine and a Mac. <laughs> Just never know which machine it's on. And like I said, if I don't push it to GitHub. Oh, and then the other, the other thing that I do sometimes, which can really get confusing, the default place that your uh, Visual Studio puts things is up underneath your profile in a projects folder. Where does everybody keep their files? I like to keep mine at the root in a work folder, as you've seen. But when I'm doing things that I consider to be more throwaway, <laughs> you can tell they're throwaway. Look at the name of some of these. Smelly, shell for previewer, no Shelly. <laughs> Uh, well, I crack myself up anyway. Yeah, so some of these are like, oh, you know, just showing a sample to somebody else. Something like that. So it wasn't that one. It was before this. It was before this. Whoops. Go down. Made several pages. No, I don't think it's in there. Sorry, I'm looking off screen just because I'm going through Finder. I don't, I don't really have much to hide, but live streaming puts a little bit of fear in you. Um, ooh, no, no. 
did add all those pages, but those are all right, right, right. You know what it might be? It might be in the visual challenge. Let's go look. Um, so I term. Nope, not right now. Come on, keyboard. All right, so visual challenge. Yes, that one. Um, let's get branch. Let's get branch dot list. No, what is it? <laughs> no, I'm crying out loud. Now I start to realize just how little I know. I also have a much, uh, doing Twitch, I have a much lower patience threshold <laughs> for doing anything. It's like, uh, if it doesn't come right up, I'm moving on. Um, okay, so I have the MS News. I guess I didn't, didn't create a bunch. And if we go look at uh, Happy MS News Prophet, nope, none of those. All right, screw it. Let's get into some code. All right. So uh, if anybody has thoughts, tomorrow I want to spend some time in Shell specifically to do um, uh, just different kinds of navigation. You know, So if you're like, oh, I wonder how Shell would execute this navigation, um, this combination of navigation UI, uh, let me know that. And I will go through and just knock out as many as I can during the two hours I think that I have scheduled. Um, and if you don't throw me any, then I'll just go pick a bunch. Use a fork. Yeah, I know. You don't like source tree? Uh, I had tower too. Do I still have tower on here? This machine got reset, so I lost a bunch of everything. So I, I've used tower. I use. Uh, I do not ever use the GitHub app. What does everybody like? What do you use? Oh, so when you're saying fork, you mean fork. Fast, friendly, git. Oh, look at this. I have never even heard of this one. What makes this one so special? Tower. Tower works good. Well, yeah, of course. Well, source tree is free too. And I used to host a lot of things on Bit, uh, Bit, not Bitbucket. Uh, what is their stuff? Yeah, is it Bitbucket? Used to host a bunch of stuff there. Um, so it just made it really easy to integrate. All right, cool. Well, we're gonna get this. It's coming down. We'll install it later. Hmm. All right. So shell navigation ideas. Hit me up with some stuff. Hit me up on Twitter. Yeah. Source tree works fine. I don't know what everybody else is complaining about. It's looking down their noses at us from over there in the Netherlands and Belgium. Sorry. Closing a few things, getting things out of the way so I can see all this wonderful chat. Bitbucket stride. Yeah, Atlassian. I don't know what Stride is. Does everybody love your Jira? All right, I don't know. Oh, the previewer is still open and it's on Shell. Yeah, you're never going to do that. Never going to happen. All right, so let's come over here. What do we got? Uh, so I got the control gallery. I've got a control page, which is really where all this stuff's going to be. I guess the first thing I should do or that I want to do, blah, blah, blah. Um, sometimes it's work on the UI first. Sometimes it's work on uh, the data side first. I think for the purposes of this, let's work on some UI. So where is my, let's throw some design time data in here. Cause I'm impatient. Thank you very much. Uh, Wow, fingers. I would blame it being uh, Monday, but it's not going to get any better by Friday, I would imagine. Since button is the canonical example I'm using here. Wouldn't it be sweet if it actually showed me something? What up, renderer? 
And I believe I've already updated to Pre-9, haven't I? Yes, Pre-9. I need an 80-style keyboard. So uh, this isn't an 80-style keyboard. So I'm using, I'm using this guy. Uh, a little bit of an ergonomic Mac keyboard. Um, my Kinesis keyboard is in the basement. I removed that. It was, I don't know, it wasn't working well for me. And then this is my kid's keyboard. Can you see that? Um, lots of nice, fun little colors on it. You can easily swap the keys on it and whatnot. Well, looks like we have a few new followers. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You'll get notified now every time I come on to ramble and show some code. Feel free uh, to throw me, uh, throw me. <laughs> you, you put the word throw into my uh, vocabulary just then. You can throw it across the room and it comes back. No. Wouldn't that be interesting? I could use probably a few things to throw from time to time. Um, no, but what was I saying? Throw me, throw me any questions uh, as I'm going here. Feel free to interrupt, ask questions. Uh, happy to, to do that. Um, today, anyway, don't ask me to debug your application for you because that's not what we're doing today. Oh, you know, well, I can't do that, can I? Dang. Um, what I could do, let's do this for fun. There are 11 of you-ish uh, right now, so I am going to open up uh, code. Come here, code. And close, close, close. I'm going to do a live share. Does anybody want to uh, click on the live share and see what happens? I wonder how many people we can get in. I'm told 30 is the max. We don't even have 30 people here. Um, but I thought that would be interesting. Um, so I need to go to a different space. I need to go to Zappy. All right, we're in Zappy. Mm -hmm. Later. Um, uh, yeah, so I'm not doing it from VS Mac. I am just going to do it from VS Code, but we're looking at the same stuff. So you wouldn't be able to see necessarily me clicking around in code. Oh, I'm just, just having some fun, man. Someday, someday it'll happen, man. And we'll all rejoice. There will be much rejoicing. People will be in the streets. All right. Uh, everything's like from a command P or something, right? Um, so live share. No. What's the, what's the stinking command? What is all this stuff? I don't want any of that. Let's see. We've got plugins. Oh, is that what this thing is right here? Live share. Oh, there's right there. Look at that. Do go. Well, I think I can do it from here, can I? Um, start a collaboration se session. I'll even let you type. It doesn't even have to be read only. All right, so it's starting a session, and then I think I'll get a URL and I can paste it in the chat. <laughs> yeah. Well, if I knew what the command was, I'm sure that that would be better. I do prefer to keep my hand on the keyboard um, and not go to the mouse. But Oh, and by the way, because I am very proud to be an owner of two of these, this is the mouse I use at my desk. You see that? It's the old uh, Microsoft trackball. Do they even sell these anymore? This, for me, ergonomically has been the best. Um, on the left-hand side, I have my Magic trackpad. Um, which is great for zooming and scrolling and whatnots. And it forces me to use both my left and my right hand um, because I end up getting ulnar nerve kind of inflammation. Does anybody else deal with repetitive stress syndrome? Or RSI, right? Repetitive stress injury? Yeah. Well, maybe this isn't going to start a collaboration session. Did it pop something and I didn't see it? Why you gotta be like that? I could have closed a few more things down, huh? Here, let me do that real quick. I'm gonna close a few things.
Okay. Cool. Uh, closed down a bunch of stuff. Looks like I had a lot of things open. So it didn't like that. It wouldn't let me start it. I ended up... Um, going ahead and taking the update. So let's see if that helped. Start a sharing session. You can do it, Code. You can do it. Went really fast last time. I don't know what, why it's being so cranky. Well, we'll let that go. If it decides to, to play play nice, that'll be great. Oh, we we're not going to get any help from the previewer, are we? All right, uh, clean course. And where are we at here? No, nope, we're not going to run nightly. Just checking my dependencies and seeing what else is going on. Is there something else hanging out here that might be causing... Well, look at that. What's that all about? What are you doing there? Let's, uh, let's kill uh, VS Mac and see if we can't get the preview working. They're still hanging. Are they going to go away? They both went away, didn't they? That's a good sign. That's not a good sign. Look at all these processes. Come on. You can do it. <laughs> I have a presentation tomorrow, and uh, my boss man's asking to see the slides. I said, why, why do you want to see the slides before the meeting? Are you scared? He may even be watching the live stream right now. Chris, are you there? you going to be fine. I'll share it with you. Okay, so I didn't notice anything else sitting out there, but there is a lot of junk for sure hanging in there. <laughs> you, you get out of bed to give that a crack. So now I'm envisioning you just having woken up with your phone laying in bed, <laughs> which is fine. That's Hopefully you're enjoying yourself and or learning something. So Visual Studio for Mac. I am using the preview, and this is a, uh, I have not updated today. I usually update first thing Monday morning, but I uh, kind of spent some time this morning doing a few other things. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm still figuring out the, uh, the best time. I have a couple of different time slots. Um, and as I get rolling here, hopefully these things will go faster and smoother and be more productive. Maybe not. Um, but I like to be able to get, uh, folks in Australia early, I guess, in your day. And then I get, uh, Europeans late in the day. Uh, I feel like I have a big black, uh, dark space anywhere east of, I guess, uh, Belgium and Netherlands and, uh, west of, uh, Australia, right? So I know that we have a lot of uh, Xamarin fans and developers in that space, in that area. Last Late last night I was on and um, Pranshu uh, joined from India. So that was cool. Uh, he's from Delhi. All right, so previewer, what do you think? Uh, don't even have a previewer button. Not even an option. It's not there. That's unexpected. Wouldn't it be nice if you could search this thing? Where did we hide the previewer stuff? 
me an option here. I guess they've moved something. Close all. Yeah. Yep, you'll need the uh, live share extension. Has it decided to... It is. It may not end up working here for us. Um, is there an update to the extension? How, how do you get updates for extensions? I guess they, they pop up down here, right? If you have an update for the extension. And I got to tell you, this is like my least favorite place for them to pop notifications. I really don't like it. It'll show up in auto install. Cool, cool. That would be nice. Uh, so it's not working right now. So I am. Um... Whoa. Oh. It's working. I copied it. It's copied to the clipboard. Here we go, people. Here we go, folks. All right. There's a link in the chat. Link in the chat. We'll see if uh, see if y'all can make it. See if you can join. You can kind of explore the code a little bit. Of course, you can go to GitHub. At some point, this will be a productive use of our time. Welcome, James. James is a live share pro. He knows what he's doing. So currently down inside of content, control gallery, control page, um, which is beautiful and fantastic and all those good things. Yes, I accept you. Oh, was I? I should have been able to accept everybody at that time. We have two. We have two. Everybody come join. Everybody. Brian McComb, thank you for the follow. It is Brian, right? Brian? It's not Brad. Brian? All I see is the B, and then I start to second guess myself. So this page is going to have the content at the top, right? So what I usually end up doing is something like this. All right, we're going to go content here for the control. It's going to be very scenario-based, right? Um, and then we're going to have um, a bottom panel that can uh, grow, shrink vertically to accommodate. I know I always misspell accommodate, and I like to use that word, and someday I'll, I'll get it. To accommodate uh, the content, and uh, we'll also handle uh, keyboard. Hey, James, does Essentials uh, have keyboard notifications? Do I still need to do that all natively and everything? It is kind of a UI thing. Maybe Forms should be the one to do all that stuff. No keyboard stuff yet. All right. Seems like the getting those notifications should not be something we have to go to the platform for. Um, so this hosts the collection view of Lil Poppy. Live share has a what? Five max? No. Did somebody get rejected as a ma outside the max? Amanda said thirty. Do I need to upgrade to a like a, a special account? Oh, what up? You could not join with that exception. There's a setting? Uh, well, okay, let me look. Let me look at my settings. Oh, so you're saying there would be a setting inside of Visual Studio. 
Um, and so here it does not appear that I have any options. Um, oh, there's a little gear. Live share will appear in your status bar. You can now begin collaborating. Check the quick start for information. Oh, it's just showing up down here, right there. But I probably don't have an actual settings screen of any kind, do I? For this, because it's VS Code. It's all like JSON driven or something. Hmm, hmm. Well, nah. <laughs> well, you know, this is uh, this is what I wanted to try out. I wanted to see if we could not uh, get up to that max. Okay, well, not too bad for a first attempt. We'll go at it next time. I'll uh, I'll ping Miss Amanda Silver when she has time. Settings, extensions, Visual Studio Live Share, um, and that's in VS though, right? In VS Code. What am I missing? Tick the box to increase to 30. Um, so maybe I need to go, actually, I thought I was skipping through. Maybe I do need to come here and then um, live share, code lens, connection mode auto, allow guest, guest task control, verbose, Guest approval required. Hmm. Keep a live interval. Ooh, increase the guest limit. Boom, done. Depeche. Try it now. Hey, Dan. Uh, we are goofing around with live share <laughs> uh, to see how many people we can get to join. Uh, we got blocked at five. And then uh, we just found this, uh, thanks to Ava. Ga oh, that's like a Harry Potter thing. Yeah, that's not going to come. I can't say that. I mean, I can, but I can't. Zappy Fest 2019. At some point, we'll actually have a real app. Uh, yeah, so we're goofing around with live share to see if we can't get up to 30. So now, do do do. I guess I can come. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Well, let's take me back to Zappy. What does this do? What does this do? What's the metal? What's that metal mean? Sharing. I don't don't know what that means. All right, anybody else able to get in? Five participants is still what I see. I don't see more. Nope, still getting the uh, five pop-up. Maybe I need to reboot. Oh, hey, Dan. Uh, yeah, I will share the link again in just a second, but uh, looks like I might need to restart. So um, before I share the link again, I will check this real quick. Live share. Da, da, da. Where was it? Where was it? Am I having Twitch blind? Increase the limit. Okay, so we increase the limit. Is there like a commit? Do I have to commit? Bye, Adam. Show matching. No, I don't have to commit. All right, so I'm going to restart Visual Studio Code. And then we'll come back into code. And then we'll start a new session. It'll be okay. Whoops. All right, so try this one. New session. And if we were all able to work all at one time in one code base, what would we do with that power? I don't even know. Would it just be mayhem? might be 
All right, Lachlan's in, Glenn's in, My, Mick's in. Oh, here we go, Dan's in, Brian. Is that Brian or Brad? Did I did you correct me on that? <laughs> what are we up to? Well, that's five. Where's six? Come on, six. Brian. All right, cool, cool. Come on, six. We'll no longer need get. James is in. Six. We've done it. We've broken through the ceiling. I love it. All right, so we're well on our way to, uh, did it say the max was 50? Because I thought that uh, Amanda had, on her tweet, said 30. I don't know. I feel like we should find this out at some point. All right, cool. So uh, we're looking at the control page. Adam, always accept anonymous. Well, maybe we should have a little caution here. Seven. This is pretty impressive. Come on, folks. There's at least 14 of you lurking, hanging out, which is totally fine. I feel like, uh, I, feel like I need to make a little call for some reinforcements here. Reinforcements needed. All right, Prince I was just talking about you, I think. You're in Delhi, right? All right, I put out a little, little tweet to my little number of followers, see if we can't get some more people to join. And I probably would need to, uh, oh, that's the other thing I haven't set up yet. I need to set up like Nightbot or something like that for the chat. All right, close, close. Close. Seriously. Oh, wow. It's like everything under the sun. Uh, close all to the right. Just the whole freaking panel. Thank you very much. Love it. I guess I can't really see my count if I do all this. Eight. We're up to eight. We got this, everybody. We got this. I think we should at least get up to 30. Come on. Surely. <laughs> Font size. Nice. Um, okay, so content for the control will be up here. Um, so I'm guessing probably an absolute layout, maybe. I guess I could use a flex layout. Um, but I want the panel to potentially, I guess, go over the top of the content. <laughs> so really this is kind of the placeholder for that. Oops, hello. Um, so looking, does anyone have, doesn't anyone control the spam bot network that we could use to get to 30? Yeah, right, I mean, surely. Where is that? <laughs> All right. Um, so looking back at this layout, let's actually be a little bit productive here. And we'll just see if people can join. Um, not this layout. This layout. So this content here should stay at the top, kind of behind in the background. Uh, the proppy. Uh, which is the everything from this line, well, that line down, all this stuff, um, will scroll within its own bounds. Um, but I could see the situation where it would need to float over the top. Hey, Elmir. Hey, join us on the live share. Whoops, not that. Join us on that. Join us. Join us. We're just maxing out or seeing how high we can go. 
Um, so what do y'all think? Um, absolute layout, put this thing up here, or I guess I could use a grid. No? Yeah, I could use a grid. Hmm. What do you think? Grid, absolute layout. Because So basically, at the, at the parent level, there's essentially two things. There's this, and then there's this. This. With no uh, suggestions, I'm just going to go for it. Yeah, I, I kind of always lean towards the grid. I did. Did I not? Well, I don't. I didn't know if I should tweet the link itself. You think people won't join the Twitch? What do you think? Who's a master of the grid? You want to type the grid for us? Don't type the grid in the chat. Type the grid in the uh, in the control page. Yeah, I guess that is true. Yeah. Well, here, I could do this. I can do this. Go, Glenn. Go, go, Glenn. Go. So I think you probably want a couple of rows. Yeah, something's gonna span. I'll let you go for it. And I tell you what, uh, since you're typing and you can't see the design, I will. Move this over and move this to where you can see it. Doing it for fun. I'll pay you in compliments. Debug crash. Oh, you have to debug a crash. <laughs> you just open up multiple sessions. Um, How does one get back to your own tweets in this app? Come on, people. And by people, I mean me. There it is. Create a topic. Live share max. Save it. Now. Uh... I guess I can just do this. New tweet, right? And then do I get to pick a topic? Nope, doesn't get to me to pick a topic. Right here, topic. There we go, live share max. For the card title, what control box? We don't have an actual card control. Correct, it's a frame. So in this case, uh, this right here, and this is why I was going to look for my earlier work because I kind of already built this, but um, essentially it's a frame uh, that contains uh, probably a flex layout, maybe a grid, because uh, a frame can take one child, and then uh, that grid would have this container at the top. Wow, select just what I want, would you? Uh, it would have this container at the top, and then it would have this label and whatever content there and then it would have a bottom container with a button um, and for horizontal lines and rules like this I end up doing box views with a one pixel height what are we putting in the grid so uh, there are two things in the grid one is the content container this thing right here at the top if you're looking at my screen and the other thing is um, all of this at the bottom without gosh darn it all this at the bottom which is a collection view um, well, I guess it's two things, really. And if we can do a header, can we do a header in the collection view? This should probably be the header of the collection view, and then everything below it scrolls. Um, but does can you affix the header? I guess that's the next question. Um, so actually, I need to start putting some of these questions down. Should this be the header of the collection view? And if so, can it remain fixed? If not, then I would end up, you know, putting a control there, and then the scroll view is just what sits below it. Uh, 
Ah, watching it on the phone, lying in bed, Almir, I, I understand. You ran that 5K in blazing time, so you're probably a little, little beat still, a little tired. Surely you're recovered by now. I don't, th- I don't know in my current condition that I could run a 5K in, I think it was 27 minutes. Collection View doesn't have the header yet. Mm, okay. Uh, well, so I think the animation could be a transform. So I saw that Javier is in here. So Javier, if we want to have, um, so for example, this content at the bottom of my screen, be able to transition over the content at the top. And if these are different rows in the grid, um, I guess this, yeah. So I guess the question is, is it easier to do animation transforms with an absolute layout or is it just as easily done with a grid as long as your animations are essentially transforms? Grid or absolute? That's the question. If Javier is still around. Maybe he just popped in. Of course, there is the delay as well, right? What are we up to in the live share? Check in. Check in time. We're at nine. Come on, folks. There it is. Publicly sharing a live share. I don't know. Will I get in trouble for that? I shouldn't get in trouble for that because I sought to approve people, right? Relative absolute layout or complete um, pain. Yeah, I don't ever use, well, I, I think I'm, I have rarely ever used relative. <laughs> Unless you have re- re- live reload. What's live reload? You mean my, my previewer is not good enough? You can animate the height of a row definition. Okay, however, maybe it'd be better just to translate. Right, yeah, yeah, okay, so I see what you're saying. So um, we can put an animation to change the height of a row definition, but um, I, I think grid's probably fine. Larry's in the house. Welcome, Larry. Larry, are you following me on Twitch? You should follow me. Aloha. Man, Kona, I spent my honeymoon there. I didn't know this. Is that actually, I don't, I mean, it's in your nickname, so you can't really hide that. So that's where you are, or have been, or once upon a time were in Kona. Slide over kit is indeed awesome for this. I love Kona. I've spent time in several places in Hawaii over the years, and uh, Kona, by far my favorite. Kind of feels more like you're in Hawaii, not in a tourist trap. That was my experience anyway. Um, Maui, I guess, was the other place that I was, uh, one of the other places that I went. It's where I learned to scuba. All right, what are we up to? We're still at nine. I think we get, nope, ten. We're at ten. All right, folks. So we got a grid going. <laughs> so Dave, what did you do today? I didn't write any code. I just got a bunch of people to join me, start writing things. All right. So we have a grid. We have two rows. We have one column. Um, mm-hmm. So, uh, yeah, if we're going to do this frame thing, so I'll come back up in here inside the grid, and uh, I'll contribute a little bit here. Um, So we'll have a frame, and actually we probably want to, well, let's just go ahead and create the frame. And I think I mentioned that uh, probably do a flex layout, maybe, no, grid. I'll do a grid inside the frame. Um, and then within here, we're going to have three things. We're going to have, uh, that first box at the top, which is really just a content view with a label inside of it. 
Lavelle label. Po a post uh, Zam Dev Summit scuba trip. How many scuba scuba folks do we have here? <laughs> Genesque Seven Magic. This is magic. This is fantastic. Um, card title. Totally style this later when we get something else going here that we can actually see something. Since we're code and blind, we all know what that's like, right? Code and blind. Um, background color equals. What is this color? This hideous color. It's like a teal. Teal is one of my least favorite colors, and I cannot seem to get away from it. Oh. What's up, copy and paste? Why you know why you know worky? Copy. Paste. There we go. Uh, so we got a content view. This is the top of the grid, so it's grid row zero, which I haven't set up my definitions yet. It's uh oh you're gonna go you're gonna you're gonna break my UI, huh? Make it long. Um, and then what do we got here? We have another label with really just some padding or margins around it. Um, oh, I see. Nope. You're trying to type this. Oh, I see what you're doing. Yeah, I know. So I think Lachlan, what we'll do is, um, because I'm using the card view as kind of that background color container or the, the, the that, um, I'll put this label down here. And um, it's really the second row. You kind of see where I'm going with this. And then at the bottom, or I guess, what do I want to do? Um, so we'll go with a, uh, sorry, I know I'm making some weird noises with my mouth. Um, hey, Clancy. These uh these little emojis and stuff that have people in them. I'm like, should I know who that is? Um, so at the bottom I have this button, but I also want to have a um. Do you like to do that, Glenn? You like to put um comments out to the side of your rows like that? That's interesting. How does everybody else keep track of stuff? Do you like to liberally use comments like that? Teach me something. Teach me why that's awesome. All right, uh, I may refactor this stuff later. I don't feel like committing heavily to this stuff. Yeah, right, just roll. Um, stack layout, and uh, it's going to be a vertical, so I want a box view. Ouch. Box view. Background color of whatever this is. And we'll have to add all these variables and themes in here. Well, that's just black, isn't it? Nice new code layout. Oh yeah, the um, the video and everything. Taking some inspiration from James and yourself and Kim and Glenn and all the other people that do way better than I have been doing. So up in the game a little bit. Um, I, I did some CSS hacking to get the uh, comments to be that way. Um, because it was really annoying me that it would try to consume all this extra space in the left-hand side. All right, so height request equals one. Now we've got a horizontal rule. Do I need to know? Okay, so what is this? Is it orientation or direction? Orientation. We'll find out. This is what you get for coding like this in um, in code. Coding in code. We're at nine. We are not getting the people. We're not getting the floods of people. But it's fun anyway. Dan Siegel. Dan, did you just join twice? Just can't get enough. More Dan. I was told this morning I needed to add more cowbell to something, to a presentation. <laughs> uh, so here, you know, I think the, the common question when it comes to 
uh, someday do something like UWP XAML is um, if we do that and it breaks everybody or to adopt the newest uh, things that Xamarin has available, you have to upgrade and convert all your XAML. Or you have a long-term support Xamarin Forms NuGet. See, Almir? Yeah, we'll have a recording up. The recording might be better. You can just zip through things. Um, so yeah, how do we do that without breaking everybody? And how do we do it in such a way that it doesn't set poor expectations? Because a button, um, you know, I mean, if, if we were doing all of our own rendering and we were not doing uh, iOS and Android native UI, I think it's a much easier conversation to say, well, we're going to adopt UWP XAML and uh, we can adopt the expe expectations that everybody else has. All right. We've got 10 again. 11. We're at 11, people. How's the lag for everybody? You feel like you, I mean, not everybody's typing, obviously, but button text equals button. Background color is transparent. And um, what is it, text color? You know, um, I know that, uh, Larry, you're a fan of uh, VS Code, aren't you? Wouldn't it be sweet to get some IntelliSense help in here? Get some IntelliSense help and just some little little bit of build help, right? That'd be pretty awesome. Um, so whatever my text color is. Oh, it's probably that same blah. Same blue color. Live share has less lag than Twitch. Isn't that interesting? And I don't have lag turned on. You know, I'm not a, I'm not gaming. <laughs> not trying to hide anything from anybody. Um, okay, so now I have button transparent. It's got the blue color. Um, while everybody is here, and I just saved the file, I'm going to flip back over to Visual Studio for Mac. And if I open this page, oh, look, we got all our stuff here. And we have a preview button. That's what I was wondering if we were going to get that. I know uh, I've heard what some people do. Um, oh, look at that. We have something. Something. <laughs> Noise. If I start jacking around with the frame here. <laughs> Interesting. Um, and we are sitting inside of a grid with that frame. Is that right? Oh, okay, grid, grid, okay. Um, so if I go with horizontal alignment, options, center. No, yes, no, because it's a grid. It's not going to do this for me. Oh, but I, I haven't put myself in like a column span too. Got it. Let's do that. Whoops. So the file just updated, and it kicked my cursor to the bottom. That's interesting. So I should probably, what if I go over here? We're totally goofing around. What a lot of people will do, um, or not a lot of people, but I have heard that some people will use like a live XAML or a live reload and, uh, or the hot reload that's out there, and will use VS Code to do your coding. And, uh, and just leave VS Mac open in the background so that the server's sitting there and it pushes the refreshes to the, to the running app. I've heard this. I've not tried this myself. Has anybody tried that? Does anybody actually want to use VS Code on a day-to-day -day basis? You would prefer to use a uh, full-blown editor maybe. Okay. Grid span, call span two. Did somebody else type that for me? Lachlan, did you get me? Nice. There we go. Look at that. So what if I do this? All right, we've got 12. 12 little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Everybody know that little nursery rhyme? I think it's actually five little monkeys. But we have 12. 
you use VS Code over you would use, you do use, because of the things they haven't. Yep. Who's they? Who are you calling out, Dan? I would totally use it. It's just so, so lightweight, so responsive. I don't have to wait for the editor. I mean, the other con, you know consideration is let's just make. Let's just make VS uh, for Mac as responsive, as lightweight, as lightweight feeling. Yeah, I didn't think that was going to work. And if I come back over here, oh, as long as I click in the editor, the previewer will update. Slick. All right, that's a little bit too much. We'll do this. Hmm. Hey, Clancy, how could I just have like a little service running in the background that just every couple milliseconds touches this file, just touches it, right? So that the previewer updates while I'm typing in VS Code. That's totally doable, right? All right, so... Save would touch it. Well, so I, I just saved it, right? I then have to, I guess, give focus back to the app, the previewer. So it wasn't technically clicking inside of the editor. It was just touching the, touching the, um, the ID. Drinking bird with a capacitive nose. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so we're going into the Internet of Things realm, huh? Oh, that's fun. Waiting for host to approve. Really? To get in? All right. Hold, please. Maybe a good host. I didn't get a uh, notification. Scroll. Um, let's see here. I see 12. Suggested, um, the H Granada. What is what name would you be in here? Would you be? No, that one's offline. Huh. Guest user has joined. Has joined. Has joined. Has left. Has joined. Yeah, I should have just let you right in. Oh, okay. Well, guest user one's fine. Oh, I see. So you did make it in. So you're able to see the live share. I think I think you made it in according to this. According to my screen. <laughs> VS code's hanging, huh? Well, hmm? have we uh, have we we've, we've only gotten up to 12. Have we uh stressed it out? Surely not. All right, how are we doing here? I've seen, I see, I see the cursors seem to have slowed to a stop. Where are we at? All right, we look like this now. So um, I will go ahead and start working in VS Mac and tweak a few things here. So. I had asked the question of Glenn earlier when he was typing the grid stuff that uh, he was putting these comments out here. Is this something that anybody else does? And Glenn, is this something that you regularly do or is this something that just you did just now? I'm scrolling back through the chat to see if you actually answered this question. You said, I do. So this is something that you regularly do. Anybody else? I mean, this is kind of, this reminds me of like the web days, right? But what I would usually do, I guess it makes sense to have it up here at the row definitions, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, because when you get complex, right? Um, what I'll end up doing is uh, maybe when I come down here to the bottom of the grid, right, is like do something like that. That shows me that it's, it's the end of it. Um, another random question. 
pardon me. Um, I have I've heard some people complain about the light editor and would prefer a dark editor. What would you like? Would you like dark or would you like the white as you have it here? Typically when presenting, we go with the light theme because it makes it easier on the projector. But since you're basically staring at your own computer screen, perhaps dark is the way to go. Yeah, I think we all typically work in dark. Use what I want. I'm here to serve, Clancy. So I guess we have two options, right? We've got the dark interface. You prefer the light? Keeps you from falling asleep, maybe? Yeah, like we got the dark editor going here, obviously, and um, what was the command to bump up the font without bumping up the whole stinking IDE? Need to remember these things. In VS Code, because when I do just the com uh, you know command plus plus, uh, that ends up zooming the entire thing because it's basically a web browser, right? I should suffer with light on the account that it's being recorded. Maybe. Whoa. Whoa. What was that? Text color. What happened? Where'd that box come from? Um. It's this one. It's this button right here, isn't it? Well, that got rid of that. Is this one also seen? Oh, that's the box. No. Yeah, there's that one. Too many cooks in the kitchen. Yeah, well, that's that's part of the the experiment here to learn to learn is this thing actually useful? Does it fall down? How would we use it in a mass mayhem situation? WWF uh, battle royale, whatnot. I guess you have to tag team, right? You have to. Not everybody can be in the ring at the same time. And if somebody has a better idea of how to accomplish something, almost like a. Uh, what do you call it? Improv, right? You tag in, tag out, which I'm sure we all do on a regular basis. All right, so I need to get the card title to f go to the bottom. So I, uh, so it's going to take the height from that. I think we had a little misspell there, Glenn. Height. Were you giving us the international sp spelling? Or somebody else goofing around. Subterfuge. <laughs> Comments that you left. Dare I? All this stuff. This one? <laughs> that the reader will be distracted by the readable content of a page. Oh, Javier is just pointing me at the previewer. Comment on the side. <laughs> Top of the grid. Oh, appsaml.cs? What are you doing over there? I'll have to diff all this stuff. Sanitize it. You didn't do anything. Oh, this needs prism. <laughs> Ah, oh, that doesn't seem fair. I mean, oh, here we go. Oh, look, it just wants me to accept you. I accept you. I am putting, yeah. So last time around, Granada did not uh, did not ask for that. Didn't didn't prompt me. What happens if I hit save in VS Mac when it's being edited in VS Code? I don't know. Make some edits in VS Code, 
and I'll come over here and do something here. Um, so I already did the height corrections. What I wanted to do is give this a height request of like 100. And then here comes a save. You ready? Did it overwrite your changes, Lachlan? Because I'm assuming that you don't have the rights to hit save, right? Only I can hit save. Now it looks like there's still changes outstanding here. There you are. So you did uh, text color down there on that button. Bye, Javier. Failed to save. Oh, interesting. The content on disk is newer. Please compare your version. So basically, it's a merge conflict. Not even a merge. Just a flat-out file conflict. Interesting. So if I, if I do hit save here, now, it's, now we're basically in a state where any changes made here are not going to work out until I do a comparison. Yeah. So those are the things that I changed. <laughs> so comments are good for apologies, too. <laughs> so how do I merge, though? Uh, da -da -da. So if I come to this one, what do I have to say? Next change. I don't want to navigate the changes. Follow. Use your changes and overwrite the disk contents. Sure. Let's just get back to a working state here. Um, if I come back over here, wow. Gotcha, gotcha. Oh, I see you're working on the stuff down below. <laughs> right? More merge conflicts. Interesting. Well, you know, I mean, we're definitely... We're coloring outside the lines here, right? With the uh, using VS Code while VS Mac is open and whatnot on the same machine. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this stuff's really impressive. All right, so what was I doing here? I was coming over here. I gave this a height request. Um, I guess I can go back to my designs and see what I this is actually designed for. <clears throat> 176, something like that. Gosh, I keep hitting something that keeps throwing a return in there. Um, this thing I want to sit on the bottom, vertical options. Is it vertical alignment options? Vertical options. And yeah, sweet. Turns out I do know, a th remember a few things. Um, and this probably needs a little bit of padding. How much padding? You know, that's something that I haven't figured out yet. Um, how to select something. Oh, there it is. Sweet. So if I hold down the Alt key and then mouse over something else, it gives me the distances from the thing I selected to the next boundary. And so then that means that I know that I have basically 15 pixel uh, or 18 pixel padding margins there. Nice, nice, nice. So that's something that I think you can do in uh, the Adobe suite of products. So, oops, not here. Don't edit in VS Mac. Edit in code. Um, where are we at here? Card title. I put it at the end. Um, there's no other content in here, so I'll just do the margin on this thing, on this label. 
and the text color needs to be white. Yay. And then back to the design, it's long established fact. The text needs to be, oh, I see. Oh, I know, okay, right. So I need to get rid of the, the built-in padding on the frame, right? It comes with its own padding. Whoops. Um, I have also used Zeppelin. Mm-hmm. Yep. So I could be getting some of this straight out of Zeppelin. I understand. Um, and I actually did set this up. If anybody wants access to Zeppelin uh, for this project, when I have more final designs and I can push them out, let me know. Um, so here's Zeppelin. Zeppelin's a really nice way to go quickly between these screens. So for example, yeah, I've got this. Right, yeah, so I can just mouse over that card title in Zeppelin and see the same information, which is rad. And look at this. I actually get some code to grab and to use. I guess, oh, interesting. So it doesn't necessarily know if I want a frame or a stack layout, so it gives me both options. Is that what's going on here? No. Curious. Hmm. So anyway, uh, if you want access to this, I just need to add you. So shoot me an email and I will add your email addresses here. All right, I got about half an hour left. <laughs> My Slack has been blown up. Pardon me while I make a few replies. Oh, wow. So uh, who's going to build? Anybody, anybody here going to build? We're gonna organize a little mountain biking adventure on uh, the weekend or one of the days. <laughs> yes, I know. I saw, James, that you set up a meeting. Looking forward to that. Mountain biking can be scary. I have uh, I have body armor. I do. Not gonna lie. Um, it's got that. Uh, I don't remember the name of it, but it's that kind of pliable material that when it takes an impact, it hardens really fast, so it protects you. So I've got the protects my spine. Then of course I've got elbow and knee pads as well. Um, got a very nice helmet. Thank you, Microsoft Fitness. Build is a long way away, distance-wise, right? Of course, it's only like a couple weeks away, but it is it is a bit of a trek. Well, maybe someday we can bring bring more Xamarin down under. Uh, you know, I uh, yeah, right. Stream the mountain biking. I don't think so. However. Um, Mountain biking is the thing you do to get away from computers. Uh, James, do we know if we can uh, Twitch stream our, our uh, theater sessions? Wouldn't that be interesting? I mean, it'd be fun. It'd be more, more one direction, less interactive like this, but I think that would be pretty sweet. I know that you know Wi-Fi and, and internet's gonna be a concern in the venue, but um, seem like it could work. I'll bring my gear. Yeah, I mean, if if they're doing all the theater sessions, that'd be fantastic. Um, but if they're not, we should ask. All right. Um, let's tidy this up a little bit. 
Uh, okay, so we've got the frame, we've got the grid. I set the padding to zero. What did that do for us over here in Previewer? Hello. All right, good, good. So now we've got that alignment the way we want it to be. Uh, the label that's here needs some margin. Hello, margin, my old friend. For some reason, my kids have gotten into listening to old Paul Simon stuff, which is great. I love Paul Simon. Did I use 15 or 18? I used 15, didn't I? Had to choose one. Um, zero. Yeah, I can just do that for now. Cool, cool, cool. The uh, button space at the bottom is just a little too heavy. What's going on here? Because it's grid row two and grid row two. Now let's go back to auto on this guy. This one? No, it's the wrong one. This one. Yeah. Come on, refresh. Um, so this is row one, and this is a star, so it will just take all the space that it's allowed to take. Auto um, sizes to the content, right? I think. Um, We don't seem to be getting any updates here because background color is a duplicate. We've got an error. That's one way to find your errors. What did I just do? I want to see what's actually taking up all the space, huh? All right, now we've got some color. Love it. Huh. Huh. Why are you taking up so much space, yo? Just... Oh, if I do this here, then I'm in trouble. Well, I think I'm the only one typing at this point, right? All right, so uh, I'm just going to do it all here. Um, yeah, why are you taking up so much space? I think what I'll do, instead of saying auto here, I'll just go ahead and say, give me a size. What do you say? Nope, you didn't do anything. Oh, oh, it's our misspell. We're back on the misspell train? GHT. I think it's subterfuge. I think somebody out there is having a laugh. Or maybe it was my mistake from earlier. Whoops. All right. Um, and then this needs to horizontally align at the start. Yeah, yeah. Why is it so... Now, what if I go back to auto? Yeah, so I put it back in space. That's not bad. All right, so get rid of that. Sometimes when I have something like this that's a separator, then I will utilize it to set the distance between things. So that's not bad. Why do I seem... Oh, you know what? It's the spacing. I always forget that stack layout provides spacing. So... The problem being that it's not giving spacing at the bottom of the button, right? 
are we doing here? So spacing is now zero. I've got eight going on here. So I guess I could give this up. Oh, gosh. What? So if I do this, where do I want the uh, stuff to be? Do this, get rid of the spacing. The spacing can stay where it was, which I guess I can control it. So I'm going to use eight, but uh, then I need to essentially have bottom padding, right? Zero, 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 eight. And I guess I could utilize the left. Is it left or top, 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 like that? Yeah. Oh, but I don't want to do that. Dang it. Yes, I do try to not use padding. I try to go for margins instead because Jason put the fear of padding in us back at Evolve something or other. And so I'm going to just put a left margin on this. Where well, Let's go look at our layout. What should it be? Looks like it's probably in that same 15 to 18 category. Oh, it's centered in there. What does Zeppelin say? Zeppelin says, oh, that doesn't help either. But it does kind of tell us 15. All right, that's cool. What's wrong with the padding? Um, the padding, if I put it on the stack layout, it brings the, sorry, let me get back to Visual Studio. Um, oh, so just in general with padding, um, the measuring, because of the, uh, the life cycle of measuring and layout, padding can be more expensive uh, on your layout cycles. So margin takes a faster path. And so if you can achieve what you need to achieve with a margin, uh, you tend to be better off, is my understanding. Does anybody else have any more clarity on that? Did I explain that well? Don't take my word for it. I could have completely lied just now. Um, so the spacing was 15. It wasn't 8. So that's important. Um, huh. What's this character? Somebody got a German keyboard? Um... Label, margin, 15. I want to get the 15 here as well. Let's just go 15 everywhere. There we go. Get the spacing the way it's supposed to be. Um, and then this needs a 15 on the left. Wow. All right. Background color transparent, because if we don't do transparent, we'll end up getting the... end up getting the gray background on Android, right? So let's see what it looks like on Android. All right, Android, not too bad. That's not, that's, we're missing the shadows and the borders and everything, which, uh, so I think, let's confirm this real quick. Um, I haven't tried to build actually in a while, so let's, let's go for it. Let's build that pixel. Let's see if, uh, I think it looks better on the device. Oops, not gonna build. What did we do? Grid dot column span. There we go. Lachlan, I think that was yours. Because I could turn on like annotations and start blaming people. No, I can't do that near, can I? Ooh, that's something that we need to go figure out, right? That's no, not going to build again. Uh, padding.
Oh. I think I just put that in the wrong spot. So, uh, <laughs> just, it's not one thing, it's another. Box view. Oh, I see. Got it. So that is something that we're going to need in this live share as a way to get blame everybody. You're just here to break things. It just, it just goes to show how much we rely on XAML C at compile time to check our, check our stuff, right? When you're coding blind in VS Code, all manner of things can go wrong. Hey, did everybody see Clancy working on uh, his font work to get um, uh, consistent font naming basically across iOS and Android? Definitely check that out. Uh, go over to Clancy's stream. He's going to continue working on that. And I think by the time we're all done, we'll have dynamic fonts for sizing working everywhere. And I hope you can put your font as an embedded resource into your, uh, your library project as opposed to having to put it in the head projects. At least that's my hope. That's the challenge. All right. Well, this is promising. Where's that emulator? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Let me move this to another screen and then bring it back. <laughs> sure. I don't know. What? I have no idea. There we go. Um, let's see here. There we go. That's us. Look at that. Progress, y'all. Good job, team. Uh, yeah, so let me go grab it real quick. So here. My mic is deciding to be too heavy. So that's a link directly into it, but uh, that's the um, fork and the, I guess, the branch that he's working off of, right? And then um, it's twitch.tv slash Clancy. Uh, and I think he goes on Wednesdays at 4 Central Time, 2 Pacific. Is that right, Clancy, if you're still around? James, Clancy. So, yeah, this uh, looks a whole lot better in the emulator than it does in the uh, preview right now. It's not rendering the styling correctly at all. So, so next time, um, maybe tonight, because... I do do a lot of work in the evenings. I will work on this stuff here at the bottom. Let me come back over here to this one. Uh, I'll get this stuff going and uh, interacting with that grid. Nice. That actually looks really good. Um, I think we have some fonts to take care of. Uh, and then I definitely have the view XAML, so I'll go ahead and wire that up. That's, that's an easy one. Um, and let's kill this real quick and I'll open up a little property, which is a separate project, but I'm going to bring all this stuff in. I just harvested this from the, um, forms repository. And uh, put it in here to, to see it working in a single spot. So if I let's go ahead and run it and or iOS, sorry, because it just it'll go faster. Ooh, and I did talk to the to uh, the team about possibly bolding whichever simulator is currently running, and it seems like that is something that is possible. Um, well, I don't have anything running right now, so I guess it doesn't matter. So that'll be a nice little addition. We'll get out of this.
Here we go. So this is uh, what I'm going to essentially use for the, the logic to pull all the properties. And then we'll need to customize the presentation of these things. But it's fairly straightforward. No. Come to Papa. Are you running? What are you doing? Are you thinking? Oh, it's reflecting probably. You got this. Let's make sure I didn't totally jack this up. Should run. I've run it before. So my app shell. Oh, dog's going to freak out now. Uh, it's loading main page with all the controls. Good, good, good. Huh. Which we can't see. So what has what has gone amiss? Oh, there's nothing there. Maybe I didn't uh, complete this. All right. No, it's all here. Hmm. Oh, uh, I see. It's probably running the other one and not this one. Anyway, this is the code that I'm going to use. Uh, you can actually find this up on GitHub. David Ortnow slash, where's the browser? Slash little proppy. A little bit easier to work with than pulling it out of the um, control gallery in the Xamarin Forms repository. Cool, so I have uh, quite a full schedule lined up for this week. Um, I'll be on every day, may pop on at random times. So if you are interested in uh, knowing when I pop on at random times or on scheduled times, be sure to follow um, so you can get notified. Um, and again, bring me any questions, thoughts. Tomorrow, I do want to take a run at Shell. Um, oh, I guess I need to install that since Glenn says it's so great. Uh, oh, I'm not logged in. Great. So uh, tomorrow I want to take a run at Shell and spend some time doing uh, spend some time doing uh, any navigation paradigms. So of course, fly out, bottom tab, top tabs, um, customizing them how you want them to look. So if you have thoughts uh, or questions about how would you do X, Y, Z, fill in the blank, uh, tweet at me, let me know. And I am going to take a run at all of those. Uh, feel free to pick something out of the app store and, and just ask, how do you do this? Um, and I'll kind of just code sketch it up real quick and run it in the uh, emulator or maybe just preview. Well, I can't do it in the previewer. It's going to run the simulator. Um, so I'll make sure that that's working well, working fast. And uh, we'll kind of go from there. So hopefully that'll give everybody a good uh, education and, and um, catalyst for creating your navigation with shell and we can explore it and see if it falls down see if it lacks in any area so with that i think i'm going to wrap up uh looks like i've got a meeting in five minutes so need to go do the transition if you will thanks everybody for hanging um thank you for live share coding with me that was super fun i guess i probably should close that down right and whoever was uh if, if somebody was intentionally sabotaging the height spelling, that's pretty funny. Oh, we had somebody that wanted to join, but now I'm going to close it. Sorry, Jurabek, I'm closing the session. How does one close a session? These are things that we need to know. These are important questions. 26. Are there actually? No. There were 26 people, but not all at once. No, don't go. <laughs> oh, probably this button here. Boom. Everybody's been disconnected. <laughs> nice try, Locke. All right, everybody. Thanks for joining, and I will uh, catch you tomorrow. See ya. Where's the button? This one.